Well, good morning, guys. So, I need to do something to my hair. As you can see, I have been going around with my little um, scarf. Let me grab my little comb. And um, one thing that I feel like is super important in the mornings is to still take the time and take care of ourselves. And so, I try to do that most of the times in the morning even when I'm at home. So what I did was I washed my hair this morning and then I applied this um, foaming lotion wrap and shine. I usually do this after I wash my hair. I realize that hair salons do that and I think that's their secret for how your hair comes out so shiny after um, going to the salon and it's helped my hair. Uh, let me know if you guys have any tips on how to keep um, short hair nice. I feel like I kind of come a long way um, I had my hair, um, how do you call it? I had my hair um, natural before I really tried, but you know, when you have kids and you have a busy lifestyle, the natural hair sometimes, if you're not, I guess, very versed with it or you're not very fam not familiar, what's the right word? If you don't have much patience for it, it's hard to maintain, it's hard to manage, no matter how much I love it. So I just decided that at least I'm gonna go ahead and cut my hair and at least I have a style and um at least i can rock it by myself i mean without wearing wigs all the time i found that while i tried to be natural <laughs> i was constantly wearing wigs because i couldn't manage the hair you know i just couldn't do it you know i don't and another secret i realized is that um the less products you put to your hair the better you know it's like when you put so much products in your hair it weighs it down so all i've been doing right now literally see i have a lot of breakage right here literally is just using this replenish olive oil mango butter from qp elasta and it's it's been working pretty good for me so i'm just combing it down now you see the shine is nice um I'm just combing it down and then I'm about to just curl it. I use two different curlers. I use a small curl. This one is my favorite one and then I use a bigger one. And I bought this like 10 years ago and it's still working magic. So you don't need to be buying any expensive flat, flat iron to get any results, trust me. Sometimes we spend so much money on stuff and it just does the same thing. We just, our head tells us that it's doing better, but it's really not doing any better work. So here we go. I'm just gonna take the hair into small pieces and I'm gonna begin curling for the day. So I can look like a woman. <laughs> I'm not gonna do any serious makeup today because I don't need to. I'll just probably put a little bit of powder. So that's what this see, look at look at this. Oh my god. I just love it. I love this. I love this hair straightener. Hair straightener, hair curler. You know, it does it all. I do have hair curlers, but I find that these are better because they straighten the hair and um, they also curl without putting so much pressure on the hair versus the curling irons when you try to straighten and curl kind of I don't know it kind of gives it a bit of a I don't know it kind of gives it more stress I don't know what I'm trying to say but yeah I just try to do this I find that it helps my hair and then when you use that little foam wrap that I just showed you the curls last at least three days and I don't have to put heat on my hair again because you know heat is not good you know it's good for the style but it's really not good for the health of your hair so the least heat possible that I can use the better and honestly, like, when I got this haircut, I, I, I mean, my hairstylist snapped. Like, she did a good job. Like, 
I remember in high school, I used to get my hair permed and nobody could get my hair straight. Because, you know, my hair is that African tight, you know, bush hair. Like, it's tight. It's tight. You know, it's hard. Very coarse. So if you don't get the right person to, to do it, they're going to just put the relaxer on your hair thinking it's going to magically just get straight. And then your hair will be crinkly after the application and then even in heat you can't stand it because your hair will start will turn back into into natural but this uh -uh. she's not because my hair could be sweating and my hair is still straight <laughs> I'm like this is what I've been looking for she snapped in San Diego it's not that easy to find you know stylists that are specialized in uh you know uh, black hair really because the black population in san diego is not that that heavy as in other places i mean they're here but not as much to be honest so i just kind of sparingly just put some uh, some curls even this one curls I know, I'm so excited about this. Um, I love my haircut, guys. I think it's the best I've made. I love it. Gotta hide my bald spots. One thing about this mushroom haircut too is that it does a really good job with that. Like if you if you're suffering from like uh, sideburns that are receding, or like maybe you have too much tension on your hair, you know, from wearing too many wigs or braiding too tightly, this does a very good job in hiding that and gives you the time to let your edges heal. But at the same time, wear your own hair. You know? I was wearing wigs all the time. It's not it's not cute, man. It's not cute all the time. Come on. Even you yourself, you will feel very tired. You want your hair to breathe, feel light. Be wearing wig all the time. Your hair will never be light. Especially in the summertime. I just kind of go like this at the back of the the little ones I can't curl. So I just have to straighten them down. When I'm done with no, not this. When I'm done with the curls, I just spray like a. It's like a a hold. It helps to keep the hair in place. I mean the curls in place. And I do this just once a week, or whenever I get to curl my hair, maybe twice. So that the hair will stay. If you don't spray this, the hair will fall. I try to go in a little bit more with curling. The more little curls you have, the more definition you have on your haircut. And the better it will look when you don't curl it uh, the next two or three days, you know. So if you have time, just go ahead and keep curling. In the back or in the little hair, it's better to use the, the small curler. In the front where you have the more hair, then you use the bigger curler, you know. One thing that I say that is the downfall of short haircuts is when you go and get a fresh perm and they style your hair and they, you know, use a curling like this, man, they be burning your scalp. <laughs> I'm always like, like, why do they do that? Can't they see my scalp when they're trying to, you know, curl my hair? It's like, what are you doing? Burning me on purpose? Sometimes the top is kind of flat and I'm 
trying to find ways to get it to not be flat. I want it to be have a bit of a bump, you know. Making sure the back is nice and curled. When you put that spray, that spritz or whatever, like, not it's not a spray actually. Spritz is very different. That hairspray. It's nice to let it sit with the curls big like this because it'll help the style to stay. Now when done, you just kind of comb through with your hands. But see, even that little bit of oil that I put in my hands to put on my hair already made my hair super shiny. And me, I like my hair to move, you know, so I don't like too much, too much shine. I take a little brush like this one and go in the back like that kind of brush, brush down here normally I would put gel on the sides to kind of create a nice dramatic look but I don't really I'm not really going to anywhere today that's special so I'm not doing that but that's what I do I'm just trying to now I'm trying to just let those curls set up a little bit before I comb them out comb them out in the front but man I kind of like it like this too <laughs> it's kind of cute now, I take my big tooth comb and I brush the front. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, I kind of like it like this, but I also like it like this. Yeah. Yeah, what y'all think, guys? What y'all think? What y'all think? My hair is growing, so like the front is no more just like a straight mushroom, it's kind of falling towards this side. Now, what I do is just bring some to the side here, like that, to create some movement. Yes, hair salon in my house, baby. Hair salon in my house. this every day so easy it didn't even take me that long and tomorrow I don't even have to do this all I have to do is wrap it at night and then get up and it's gonna fall nicely there you go nice and ready to go see I don't always look crazy then I just put a little bit of powder on my face to look decent because I am going to an appointment just nothing special but just an appointment <clears throat> so I'm just gonna put my little MAC powder just to even out my extra dark spots on my face. I don't feel like I put in any serious um, foundation unnecessary today. I have a birthmark right here. Sometimes I try to just add a little bit more makeup just to blend it in. Not really to take it out, just to blend it in. Because when you have makeup and it doesn't blend in, I mean, honestly, it's just a noises. I need to do my eyebrows I just don't have the time I'll just do them the next time I go out to somewhere special that's kind of like my eyebrows routine anyway it's only when I'm going somewhere and I need to make my makeup look good and then that's when I do my eyebrows you know so here we are, here we are looking all fresh and glam. How do you like it? Let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know. I hope you enjoyed these tips. Um, I, I highly recommend a haircut, a short haircut for anybody who, you know, 
struggles with like taking care of their hair like I you know I have hair it's just because I don't have the time normally when I turn to grow it out it just ends up breaking because I don't have the time to cater for it I'm always busy doing something so I said I'm gonna cut my hair because it'll be easier to care for and um, even if you have kids screaming you can just put a car scarf on at night and the next day it will look decent but when your hair is natural and it's really tight curls, you can't just do that. You have to twist it at night, put a lot of products, spend a lot of money on products, and then you end up putting a wig on top of it. <laughs> so uh, when you put when you put so many wigs on your head too, it's nice. And I know I'll be wearing wigs pretty soon too because I just like changing the style. But when you when you end up wearing wigs every day, all day, all year long. It starts to create more tension on your hair and that's not healthy either so what is the point of of that you know you're trying to have healthy hair and yet here you go everything is coming off so if you like this hairstyle let me know comment in the section below I will share where I got this one from Amazon and this one from Amazon as well and maybe I'll put down the links to the hair straighteners that I used in case you're interested and yeah like I was saying just click like share and subscribe take care